Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in Re-Legend, I guess I'm gonna, well, head to the Everdust, because I finally defeated um, Wilker in the last episode, and I figured, you know, it's, I just want to continue on the story now, I mean, I might as well, and I figured, well, I mean, since it's after Halloween, Halloween's over, I might as well just, you know, Take that off and put it in my storage because yeah so i'll put this uh let's see and as far as i know i think hugo is going to talk to me when i come out my door at least i think so he should there we go put that there okay let's get out here and see what hugo has to say hello hugo Good morning, sweetie. No, uh, yeah, okay. Hello, Hugo. I'm sorry to bother you so early in the morning, but there's something important I need to tell you. And what is that, Hugo? Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering the same thing. You see, it's about my daughter, Rose. Uh, Hugo, you have a daughter? That is, you know, <laughs> that would be surprising-ish, <laughs> in a sense. <laughs> She left the town a while ago to search for something important. My beautiful Rose is a strong and fabulously capable girl, so naturally I let her go. Yeah? But she's been gone for a long time. Well, you know, shouldn't you really go with your daughter, you know, because you, you wouldn't you want to protect her? Despite the fact she may be strong. She left with Shio, Morty's brother. Ah. So I know she's not alone, but, well, still... It'd be better if you were there, since you're so buff. <laughs> I'm starting to worry, sweetie. And everyone knows that worrying gives you horrible wrinkles. Oh, come on, Hugo. Uh, sweetie, I know you've never met my uh, sweet cinnamon bun rose, but she means the world to me. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll go find her. Could you go look for her? Yeah, I know. I'll go look for her, Hugo. Well, I don't know why you can't go there. I mean... You seem to be fairly capable enough. She went towards the desert. Don't be fooled. You might think it sounds empty and barren. And I didn't get to read the rest of that because of, yeah, because I clicked. Uh, anyway, please find her and bring her back. My sugar lumps, be, please be safe. Yeah, I know, Hugo. I know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, let's see what my mail has to say here. Let me guess. This is... No, oh, no, okay. Um, so, Milk Fair? Here's Icor. The annual Moo Moo Fair will be coming soon. It will be happening five days from today on the 11th of spring. Mutas are of higher levels... I mean, mutas that are of higher, higher levels would always yield the best. Milky harvests. I am really looking forward to savoring this wonderful treat again in abundance. And hopefully you can feel the same way. And I'll see you there, Moku. Okay, yeah, Moku, I will be there. I do have a Muta, so, uh, you know, maybe. You never know, maybe it'll work. I have no idea. I don't know how it'll go. Uh, let's see. Okay. Get to watering my crops here. And here comes Gunther. Right on time as usual. And one of my crops is a little bit unhealthy here because... I think I missed watering it one day. Oh, it's it's healthy again. So maybe the watering. Yeah, maybe it, it maybe it um, revived itself. Hopefully. Hello, Gunther. You're gonna. I don't think I had anything for him to take, did I? I don't think I did. So yeah, uh, Gunther, you can just take nothing. Okay, let's see. Yeah, take that out. Okay. My fishies are fed. Let's equip my... Let's see. Uh, let's equip my grop this time. Because why not? There we go. Hello, grop. Help me to get rid of all of these fish. Irritating fish. 
Okay, there we go. Now, you can stay over here since you'll probably go over there anyway. And it looks like my tomatoes are done. Okay, that's nice. I will probably keep some of these. Come on, I, I harvested on that. Yeah, that's somewhat of a bug, I think, that um, where if you hit the F key too quickly after moving, it will just not harvest. So, yeah. Okay, these aren't done. These aren't done. Okay. So I got some tomatoes. I head over here. Those fishies are fed, but I only got one day left. Now head up here. I also need to remember to use storage quickly before I go, because, yeah, I don't want to have anything in my inventory when I go to the Everdust, because you never know what I might find. Of course, you know, I should bring taming stuff, too. Um, okay, so... The Magnus aren't hungry, so that's good. So all I really need to do is brush them and feed these two. So feed Strife and Brawly. Otherwise, the rest, Draz, I need to pet and brush, and so do, and as well as Moo, and then the rest of them as well. Okay. Um, well, since you're here, get out my brush. Talk, brush. Okay, get over here. And gather the items. There we go. I didn't I didn't talk and brush Draz either. Come on, Draz. There we go. Eh, no. That brushing animation, I tell ya. Get back here, Moo. There we go. Sometimes I really don't understand it. Why your Magnus just kind of start running away from you when you're trying to pet and talk to them. I don't know, it's weird. But I've had it happen multiple times. There we go. Okay, talk and brush. I didn't talk. Come on. Talk, there we go. Come on. No, stop brushing. You're not brushing anything. There we go. I'm messing up my rhythm. Now I gotta wait for the brushing animations. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I swear that brushing animation is it's, it's rather frustrating. Okay, get over here. And then I just need to feed these two. Strife, Brawly. Okay. Now I need to... Oh, actually... Not that one. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that fed. Yep, okay. Now is it... No, I don't... Oh, I don't have it on key. That's why. Uh, hold this. There we go. Okay. Inventory full. No. Okay. Nothing I can dump. Um. Nope. I guess not. And this is. Oh well. Let's just see if it's still there. I'll come back in. Otherwise, I'm gonna go out here. And if I would have used storage after I harvested my tomatoes, I'd have been able to pick it up. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes I tell you, it's that one space that makes a difference. I mean, I need to ex expand my inventory anyway. I could have another 20 cells here. Or, no, that's more than 20 cells. Um, let's see. Put these right here. Those are water. And then get all this stuff in their respective areas. Hopefully it puts it all in there. I should have 
some of each of those. Okay, get out here. Now I'll just head back into the barn quick because I want I'm for sciencing this anyway, just to see if if it's in there. The item that I couldn't get. Because I can't remember if they stay or not until you pick them up. Or if it just disappears when you leave. Let's see. Oh, it's still there. Okay. At least that allows you to go out and use storage. So that's good. So, who do I want to take with me to the Everdust? Hmm. Now that it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, Draz is generally good for me to take everywhere. Um, probably should have some sort of healer. But really, actually, the best ones to take are some sort of woodcutter and um, ore farmer as well. Because, yeah, it's just better because then you can just harvest ore and wood at, you know, with a Magnus. Although it seems like it's easier to do with my my axe and pick. But anyway, yeah, I guess I'll just probably take... Maybe I can just keep these two. I guess. Well, you know, Brawly isn't too bad. You know, I'll take Brawly with me. Um, withdraw. Party. There we go. Okay, let's go, guys. I got two heavy attackers now. Or at least Brawly is supposed to be a heavy attacker. Okay, get over here. Now, um, I sh probably don't have the... The Everdust in my teleporter. I don't see why I would. Yeah. Okay. So, heading over to the Everdust. Actually, wait. This is... Trader Sales Day. Items sold at the Trader's area are discounted 20%. Well, you know, let's go check Amelia's house quickly just to see. Because I'm curious. So get over here. And Amelia is outside her house. Hello, Amelia. Yeah. I can talk. Talk? Okay. So I guess since she's not back at her house, I guess... Yeah. I'm going out. <laughs> uh, actually, Magenta wasn't up there, was she? I didn't look. I'm still waiting for Magenta because I want to buy the fall tree. Yes, she is. Okay, good. Now, I have to specifically get off. Okay, hello, Magenta. Might as well talk to her. Yeah, I know, you have thingamabobs. Okay, shop. Let's see. Okay, um, now, a Torange seed. Okay, so I'll buy that. And then I'll buy a Colnut seed as well. Because why not? That'll take probably, both of these will take the rest of the month to grow. But, yeah, let's get a Torange and then a call nut and i can quickly plant these she sells gold bars too <laughs> okay i expect they're expensive though they probably are okay let, let's quick plant this because i want to get this growing this tree except yeah i've got to make a space. Eh. There we go. Yeah, and then all I get is just one. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, okay. Okay, I wanted to get it right next to it. No, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, I get the trees right next to each other, so that is good. No, I'm not gonna. Wrong button. Uh, hold. There we go. Water. Haha! -ha! Okay. Head down here. Plant the coal nut. Grab out my shovel. Um, let's see. I think all I need is one space. And hold that. Plant it. There we go. So now that will probably take 
what? The coal nut will probably take 11 days or so. So, well, probably by the 17th or so, I should have it. Maybe. Should be able to harvest it. And then the tree will probably take um, about the same amount of days. Uh, I'm just guessing based on previous... Um, what? Previous crops that I've seen. Like the Pleasa pad and stuff. Okay, now let's head over to the Everdust. Now that the day is half over. Get on my grop. There are some interesting fish I'd like to see if I can catch in the Everdust as well. Because, they, yeah, there's some cool ones in there. At least, at least, um, I think there is, because some of the ones I had caught in the fish competition, the fishing competition, seemed like they were, I don't know, not from the areas I've seen. Okay, this is the upper island, I think. Or is this the lower island? No, this is the lower island. Well, let's head in here. Okay, this isn't the place I need to go. Then I have to go up. Get on my grop. Come on. Get out here. Over here and around. Yeah, it's up here. This is probably it right here. I think there's another... Yeah, there's another island up there. Okay. And these are bud thorns, I think. Pick up a cocoa melon because I still pick up cocoa melons because I'm a cocoa melon looter. Okay. Ah, oh, this is probably Rose. me traveling to this place. Yes. Okay. So this is basically what looks like a temple of some sort. Okay, head up here. I think this is where Rose is, as far as I remember. Or not. Maybe she's in one of the other areas. Find Rose in the desert. Okay, well... I can't talk to this, can I? No, this is just a... It's just a camp that isn't actually a camp. Yeah, it's it's weird. Okay, maybe she's inside here. So I'll head up here. I'd like to beat the Budthorns, but I'm trying to continue the story here. Before it gets dark. Yeah, there's Rose. Hello, Rose. Uh... Oh my godness. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rose. Yeah. How scandalous. What's scandalous? What's scandalous about that? You ran into me. What? Is this re uh, really the time to be bombarding a lady like myself with questions? Don't you have something you have to handle right now? Um, no, not really. I don't see why you couldn't have handled it yourself. Eh. Yeah, I got Budthorns to battle. So I guess I'll get those in my Magnus video. Haha, <laughs> I dodged you. Oh wow, they're hurting. Haha. <laughs> uh, I need to heal. Oh, <laughs> they hurt. Nah, wrong button. I'm not high enough level. Probably. Come on. I gotta actively dodge. Oh, about time you started healing, Brawly. I tell you, I didn't see him healing at all. My hero, so strong and capable. Um, yeah, I guess I'm strong and capable even though I feel rather weak because I think I need better armor. Okay, now you've totally earned the right to ask me as many questions as you like. Uh, okay, I guess. You could have probably punched all of them out. 
Oh my goodness. So, Zykor, was it? You said Daddy sent you here to find me? Um, yeah, I did. Daddy cares about me so much. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, so should I escort you back to Volker Town? Hugo mentioned you came here with someone named Shio. Where is he? Um, hmm. Should I escort you back to Volker Town? Or Hugo mentioned you came here with someone named Shio. Uh, you know, I guess I'd be wondering where Shio is. So yeah, where's Shio? Shio? Oh, I don't know. He went off somewhere looking for some totes random... Uh, totes rando legendary fish or something. Boring. Well, you know, I would actually be interested in the fish myself just because I'd like to see what the fish looks like. Okay, so apparently they're just... Yeah, I, I have to escort her back to Volker Town. So, should I escort you back to Volker Town? Oh, no can do, sugar buns. I came here to look for something, and there's no way I'm leaving till I find it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know what she, I can't remember what she's looking for. She's looking for something. Oh, aren't you going to continue being a hero and offer to save the beautiful damsel in distress? Um, no. <laughs> I guess, reluctantly. Then the first thing I need your help with is setting up camp. Let's go. Um, yeah, I, I think I remember what she wants to find is actually something, um, something totally worthless. It's a very crude camp, but I guess it'll do. You're not going to make me wait long, right? Um, I might make you wait quite a while, because it'll probably be a couple days since it's getting dark. Oh, like get with the program, honey cakes. Obviously, I'm going to wait here until you get what I came here for. I guess you're going to be waiting here day and night. Okay, and what exactly did you come here for? Actually, I'm kind of busy looking for a guardian. But it's dangerous out here. Why don't you go back first and I'll look. Hmm. <laughs> Well, let's just... I'm, I would probably ask, and what exactly did you come here for? But I want to see what happens if I say, but it's dangerous out here. Why don't you go back first and I'll look. Let's just say that. No, 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 absolutely not. We, how can I return Daddy empty-handed? I can't disappoint him. Listen, listen, I'm looking for a scroll. Okay. You don't need to know what it's for right now candy lumps. Maybe if we become good friends, I'll tell you more about it. Okay, so that was probably a, a not the best answer if I want to increase relationship, but I'm not necessarily too interested in that. But Oh well. <laughs> so, the scroll I'm looking for is some kind of ancient desert library. Okay, yeah, the library. I know where that is. Ugh, I bet it's totally dusty down there. Um, yeah, it actually, I didn't, well, maybe it is. I don't know. I think there's sand in it. Of course, I don't know where it is. If I did, I'd have the scroll by now. Vanilla shakes. You're going to have to look for it. No, actually, I, I kind of know where it is. When you're there, search for any scrolls on something called Asun's Blessing. Okay. I think, yeah, I think the scroll she wants is just a cover for something. Some beauty recipe or something. Trudging through the desert's been real, uh, a real pain. I got sand everywhere. Okay, yeah, maybe it'll help you exfoliate. So, chop chop, creamy cakes. Ladies like me shouldn't be roughing it up like this. Okay, yeah. I want to go home to my pink fluffy bed and drink some milky cocoa fee. Okay, then why don't you just go? You don't need to wait. Yeah, I know, I feel exactly that. Ah, okay, yeah, this is the remembrance of me and I think, what is it? I think it was my brother. I scounded the area a little more. I'm certain we're safe here, at least for now. Oh, that's good. What are we even doing here, Seth? Why are we running away? We can fight. We should go back and defeat the fool for what he did. Hero flashback. Wait, so, yeah, so this is me talking, I assume. You know we can't go back to the kingdom now. It's too dangerous. We need to get stronger if we're going to face someone that powerful. Not to mention his army. But maybe they're still alive. Our friends, our family. Maybe we can still save them if we weren't sitting here in the middle of the desert. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel that way in a sense. Calm down, Zykor. I know how you feel. But rushing into battle ill-prepared is a recipe for disaster. And what good are you if you're dead? Yeah, that's true. Fine. What do you suggest we do then, brother? How do you plan to prepare and get stronger? Um, training. <laughs> Extreme training. In the desert. Well, we used to go out on adventures all the time before we enlisted, didn't we? Remember all the new things we learned and experienced? 
I believe we could benefit from that again. Yeah, we're probably good. We can use the time to cool that steaming head of yours, too. It looks like it might explode any second now. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> and that's the end of the flashback. While well, I'm just laying there on the ground. You okay? You were staring into the distance all blank-eyed like you were hallucinating. Well, it didn't look like I was staring in the distance. It looked like I was laying on the ground, practically. I thought it was funny at first, but then you started wriggling around on the sand like you were getting possessed. Uh, oh my godness. It was- I was so scared. Uh, yeah, okay. Well. Oh well, I- yeah, sorry to scare you. Oh, whew. I was worried you wouldn't be able to get any- uh, get my scroll now, but since you're fine and dandy, chop chop. Uh, yeah, okay. You- you don't really care about me, do you? I don't think she does at all. Okay. All she's worried about is the scroll. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take a- take a fish here. There we go. Let's see what I catch. Come on. Fishy, fishy. Here, fishy. I'm looking for some fishy fishies. And they're not easy fishies. Come on. They're feisty fishies. Nah. <laughs> Come on, fishy. You know you want to be part of my... Part of my... Um, family. Ah, uh, Brickle. Okay. Okay, I'll keep that. Yeah, I'll just keep it in my inventory until I get back home. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, it's not harmed at all. It just sits there in my inventory without any water or air. Yeah, I don't even know how it lives. Okay, get over here. Now, as far as I know, I gotta look for the library. Um, let's see the map. Yeah, the library is in the winding cave down here. Which is down this way. Uh, no, I'll go this way. Don't really want to get some of those claws. I don't need them. And I think... Was it this way? No, actually, I think it's up to the right. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm in here. Okay. Go through here. And Sabuk. Run up here. More Sabuk. I really should do some training to get to level 30. But maybe I can do that another time if I want to try to get some of this completed. Yes, the library. Hello, goblin, librarian. Ah! Staying quiet in the library. Figoro sees you are someone with common sense. Difficult to find now, despite the word common. Yeah, you know what? I feel the same way. It's difficult to find them with common sense. And who might you be, stranger? Uh, I am Zykor. Zykor, you say? Though some of my brethren call me Fig, I would prefer if you called me Figaro. Okay, hello Figaro. You might be wondering, how is this lowly goblin Figaro so very eloquent? Um, yeah, I guess in a sense. Yeah, it is pretty weird, tell me. Actually, I don't really have the time, I'm just here to look for a scroll. Ah, nah, nah, yeah, it's pretty weird, tell me. You see, Figaro too was once a simple-minded peasant goblin, aimlessly moving through life. Figaro's sole purpose, to fulfill basic needs and survive. Okay. But then, one fateful day while searching for shinies with Figaro's distant cousins, Jig and Rig, we stumbled upon this marvel of a library. Okay. However, Figaro's then underdeveloped brain could not foresee what was to come. Uh huh, I see. You really call yourself underdeveloped, eh? <laughs> Jig and Rig played a prank on Figaro, collapsing the pillars near the entrance of the library, effectively trapping Figaro in here. It, yeah, that real nice thing to do to. Uh, to your friends, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know. The irony! It was through such hardship that Figaro grew and blossomed to what Figaro is now. Yeah, I'm, it's good that you're not friends with those two anymore. They're troublemakers. Trapped in here with nothing to do, Figaro ban and began to consume as much knowledge as Figaro could. Figaro's mind swelled with enlightenment. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess knowledge is a good thing to have. 
And now Figaro is the self-proclaimed librarian of this wondrous f f uh, font of knowledge. Uh-huh. For a second I was going to say front. <laughs> Thus ends Figaro's story. Um, yeah, okay. Your story is over because you're just the librarian here. Where'd you get those clothes then, dude? Did you just find them? What's that? You say you're looking for a scroll? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm looking for a scroll. Well, Figaro's library has many. Feel free to look around, Zykor. Spend as much time as you like. Okay, yeah, there's many scrolls. Oh, and Figaro has but one request. Please stay away from the restricted section. Um, is that an 18 plus section? I would actually like to get in there, Figaro. Will you take any deals, please? Figaro? He's not listening to me. Perhaps Figaro may let you browse through it sometime, but not at this moment. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I'll be happy to browse through that. My apologies, but Figaro does not yet trust you. Uh, okay, come on, Figaro. I can be trusted. I'm a guy in a green suit. I'm a green goblin, Figaro. In addition, the knowledge hidden away there may be too much to handle for a normal individual. Uh, not me, Figaro. Yeah, I'm, I'm enlightened. Very well then, Figaro, we'll leave you to your business. Please handle the tomes and scrolls with utmost care. Treat them as if they are, were fragile rose petals. Um, yes, I usually attempt to do that, Figaro. I know how uh, dangerous, or not dangerous, how hard it is to handle some old manuscripts, even though I've never handled old manuscripts. Okay, um, I have to search several scrolls about augmenting the power of Magnus through bizarre experimentation. Looks risky. Yeah, sounds risky. Uh, let's see. Books about Magnus and their ability to communicate. Some writers question how some Magnus can speak with humans while others are unable to. Yeah, Magnus activists question whether Magnus should be given the same rights as humans. Thought-provoking. You know, probably. Magnus should probably be given the same rights as humans. Which then, if they did, they didn't have a, they wouldn't have a game. <laughs> Zykor, I trust you remember my request. Please refrain yourself from entering the restricted section for now. I, I know, dude. I just went by the door. You don't have to be so protective of it. Okay. Nudie and Me. A series of books about a boy and his faithful Draco Nude. A real turjerker. Okay. The Scarlet Sorceress. Tales of the Red Witch. Books about a powerful sorceress with magenta red hair. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I'd like to see her. Some of the books mention that she is immortal, but she seemed to have mysteriously disappeared. Um, I expect she went into hiding or something and maybe became a hermit. And that one's not... Okay. Okay, let's head up here. And... Nothing. There we go with that. Penguin Disaster. Massacre of a Race. Books detailing how penguin folk in Ethia were hunted to near extinction because of a precious material they possess. How shameful. Yeah, that is... that is... pretty unfortunate. Nobody should hunt them to extinction. Nobody should hunt them at all. A history of chakrams. You go through several pages on the origins of the chakram. Uh-huh. You discover that smaller variants existed, which were worn on the arms and neck. Okay. But you don't find anything else of interest. Okay, okay. Get over here. And it's getting late. I'm gonna need to get back. Asun's Blessing. You quickly skim through the tome. Reading about an enchanted chakram belonging to a, a cruel assassin named Asun. Is it Asun or Isun? It could be Isun. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. She was infamous, infamous for her sometimes twisted sense of humor. Hmm. You take the book with you. Okay. I'm checking that book out, apparently. The Tale of Princess Xena. You read a little bit about a warrior princess who fought with a chakram. You decide she sounds pretty amazing, but don't find anything else of interest. Yeah, I did watch that Xena Warrior Princess series long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Okay, and these are doors. I'm not sure what they were for. I can't remember. I never, I don't actually, I don't actually know if I even used these doors in my previous series in season two. Okay, actually, let's see what he says if I talk to him again. Figaro senses you are curious about the restricted section. Figaro knows you are not ready for it yet. Time will tell. Okay, fine, Figaro. Keep it secret to yourself. 
Okay, I'm going back with Aishin's blessing. I'm gonna end up probably fainting if I don't hurry up. You know what? Let's go, Draz. I need you to to run like the wind, which he doesn't run like the wind because you know how fast does the wind run? I don't know. Okay, get over here. Through a door, not through the wall. Get over here. Not uh, not jumping off the cliff. Getting over here and up here. And going to talk to Rose. Here we go. Oh my goodness, you're back already. That was fast. So you have it right? My scrolly scroll? Um, yeah, I have your squirrely scroll. <laughs> squirrely scroll. Huh? I asked for a scroll, not a dusty old book. Um, well, yeah, it was a book. That's all I found. I didn't find what you were looking for. What? There were no scrolls? Just this big old book? Uh, yes, that's all it was. Fine, let me have a look, sweet buns. So basically, I have to get to the oasis in the desert. Um, okay. You can go to the oasis if you want to, but I don't think I need to help you because I have to go back to sleep, Rose. So yeah, you can you can stay out here through midnight if you want. What do you mean? I skimmed through the tome really fast. It's not like I need to read all of it. Well, um, maybe you should because there's probably some restrictions in there you just don't know about. Just let me to the oasis, okay? Just get me to the oasis. Um, no, I'm actually going home, Rose. Yeah, um... Last time I tried to go there, some gross little goblins chased me away. After I didn't want to pay for their product. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you met Jake and Rig, eh? Ugh, they were so ugly. Um, actually, I might agree with you on that. <laughs> Help me shoo them away so that I can go to the oasis, please. Um, yeah, maybe another day. Then I promise I'll help. I'll back. I'll head back home to Daddy. Promise? I guess promise. She's just promising something like that. No, head back home already because I can't help you right now. Oh, you're the best. I just know after all this we're gonna be besties. Um, yeah. After maybe another day because it's, I'm gonna faint if I don't. I'll keep waiting here then. Let me know when the coast is clear. Ring drops. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, you can just sleep here by the campfire because I'm heading back to town because, yeah, I have to sleep. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Get out here. Get over here. Okay, I defeated some of those bud thorns. Actually, let's just check this quick. Oh, and I got this for that one quest, too. So, Emerald Rings increases endurance by 10. Hmm. I have strength increased by 10 at the moment. So, I think I'll keep the strength yet. And I'll keep this brickle. I want to put it in my pond. Wait, is it a small fish? I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I put it in my pond. Okay. Um, you hear Grop? Grop? There we go. I need to ride back quickly before I faint in the water and drown. I do need to head into the spooky island sometime too, although it's not available for me right now. Get up here and head to sleep. And I wonder if I'm gonna even get back in time. Well, it's 1.15. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they fix this bug after or with 1.0 because I've got like 19 stamina here and now zero stamina and I don't faint. So yeah. You don't if you're at zero stamina at like 1:30 in the morning, you won't faint until 2 a.m. which is kind of weird. So, yeah, I think it's a bug. Okay, well, um, yes, I continued on with the story a bit. Uh, let's see, did one of these two level up? Looks like Brawly did. 
I need, I think, strength. Might as well get some more strength. There we go. Good going, Brawly. Where am I? I still have a long way to go. I need to do some serious training in the Everdust. Although they really hurt there, so I might end up dead more often. I don't know. I guess I could go train at Wilker or something too, but I don't get a lot of experience there. Okay, let's see what happens if I go out. Yeah, okay, good. I'm not bombarded by, um, by Hugo. Okay, it looks like these are done. I can harvest these. But otherwise, yeah. I guess that's it for this episode. Oh, I wanted to throw my brickle in the pond to see what it, it is. I'll do that quick. Get this over here, get these. There we go. And there. Got that. Those aren't done yet. I'll water those in a little bit. But let's go throw the brickle in the pond. So I want to see if it's a small or medium. I can't remember which one it was. Um, okay. So hold. Is it a small? Okay, good. It's a small. So that's not bad. I'll get in here. See what it says. Okay. It has 27, 32, 30. Hmm, interesting, interesting. And that's at 75% growth. Let's see, my Harpro has 36, 28, 24. Interesting. So my Brickle has more endurance and willpower. Hmm. Okay, well, who knows? Maybe I'll have to try that out at the next uh, fish race. But otherwise, I guess that's it for this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell icon, leave a comment, and of course, share it. And of course, come and join our Discord because yeah, it's a fun place to be. Yeah, yeah just got streams going on and other stuff too. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. My trees are growing. That's nice. And I'm just watering dirt. <laughs>